is a DUI. Choose your own adventure, part 50. Now you're right, he does not believe you. So, you had anything to drink? He asked you. Just so I know that you're good to drive, would you mind stepping out for a field sobriety test? You said no to the field sobriety test. That's smart. When he asked you for the breath, you said, um, yeah, I'll do the breath test, sure. And you blew. Now, it didn't come back zeros like you hoped. So you've got an inconclusive reasoning, or maybe you've got some form of alcohol in there. And he asked you, what kind of drugs have you been taking tonight? Drugs, you said no, of course. And here you are, he doesn't believe you. So he's got major suspicions. Now, in all of the research I did doing this movie, I interviewed hundreds and hundreds of people connected to the DUI industry. Here is my estimation in part 50, what happens to you. If it was only an inconclusive reading on the breathalyzer test. If it didn't show alcohol and it just didn't show correctly or there was an issue with it, I think most likely he doesn't have enough evidence to arrest you and he's gonna let you go. So you should be saying, am I being detained? Am I free to go? In part 50, if that's the case, I think you made it home in your car and not his. However, if that breath test showed any alcohol reading whatsoever, any error in it, whatsoever. Now it shows you a liar. He doesn't believe that it's not drugs. He had something to do with suspicion to get you into that mode anyways. Unbelievable to say, but I've seen that dozens and dozens of times. And you can see it on social media right now, people getting arrested who hadn't been drinking that day. So if you wanna see how to handle this a little cleaner, a little easier, a little safer, go back, try another parts, or follow us at 1-800-NO-COPS.